Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another playthrough with Nevs. Today we're going to be playing through Final Fantasy VI Advanced. Uh, this is the Game Boy Advanced version of this game. Um, now I haven't played this game in many, many, many years. Um, I really don't remember much about it, and I'm not actually sure if I finished it. But I know that this game is widely regarded as being one of the best, if not the best, Final Fantasy game in the franchise. And I noticed that uh, YouTube wasn't really giving them a whole lot of attention, so I thought I would pick up the torch and I would play through this game for you guys today. Now, I've, uh, some people are going to be a little polarized about this, but I've decided to use a very slight visual filter on this. Um, I didn't want to detract from the original visuals of the game, but uh, I found when it was blown up to a higher aspect ratio, it was a little bit hard to see at times, uh, just because of how block. Ooh, we're going in here. Just because of how blocky it actually was. Um, so I used a very minor filter to kind of smooth out the jagged edges just a little bit. Um, so this should be one of the better looking playthroughs of this game that you will find. Uh, so I'm going to be giving you guys strategies as we go through, and I'm very excited, so let's jump right in. New game! The ancient war of the Magi, when its flames at last receded, only the charred husk of a world remained. Even the power of magic was lost. In the thousand years that followed, iron, gunpowder, and steam engines took the place of magic, and life slowly returned to the barren land. But that's not all. Yet there now stands one who would reawaken the magic of ages past and use its dread power as a means by which to conquer all the world. Who could it be? Could anyone truly be foolish enough to repeat that mistake? Probably. There's the city. Hard to believe, an esper has been found frozen there a thousand years after the War of the Magi. Bah! Probably just another wild goose chase. I don't know. They wouldn't have let us use her unless they were confident that the information was good. I'm being used? Ah yes, our witch! I hear she fried 50 of our Magitek armored soldiers in 3 minutes. Kinda makes your skin crawl, don't it? Relax. With that thing on her head, she's a mindless puppet. The girl won't even breathe unless we tell her to. We'll approach from the east. Move out! But that's why I'm not saying anything. A mindless drone. Alright, we have our opening credits. I really like the suits. That's pretty cool. There's always been that uh, magic versus machine kind of... Uh, conflict going on in these Final Fantasy games. Now, the reason I chose the um, advanced version of the game is because many people, uh, from the research that I did, seem to regard this as being the best translation of the game. Uh, some of the others just were not translated quite as well, apparently. Though I wouldn't know, because I only speak English. I'm just going to go by what they say. Another thing that I have on this is a slight modification to the audio. Apparently the audio has some issues on the Game Boy Advance version, but not this version that I'm playing. Um, it has enhanced audio. So everything should be sounding pristine. 
is our event planner, Mitsuki. I couldn't finish it. And our effect programmers, Hiroshi Harata and Satoshi Ogata. Kind of rhymes. Battle programmer. They only had one guy programming the battles. And one sound programmer. It's hard to believe that these teams used to be so small. Now we've got these multi-million dollar companies making these huge AAA titles. But it all started here. Well, maybe not here, but... Right about this time, back in the day... We've arrived. The girl takes point. We don't waste time on the riffraff. Remember what we're here for. Let's move. All right, we can finally move. Hello. Imperial Magitek armor. Not even Narche is safe anymore. I have to look up these names to make sure I'm pronouncing them right so I don't mispronounce them the entire game. I'm going to say Narche for now. I know there's a character named Wedge in Star Wars. Wasn't there also a character named Biggs in Star Wars? I don't know. That was the first thing that came to mind when I heard those names. All right, Biggs gained a level. So did Wedge. We got 96 gil. Always with the gil. Inch our way forward here. Hello. For Narche! Narche is the city, by the way. In case you didn't pick up on that. The city that we are in. I'm gonna hit this guy with an ice beam. I'm gonna hit you with a fire beam. Uh, we got a bunch of cool moves here. It's a magic missile! <laughs> Definitely with the magic missiles. 60 gil! I like. Oh god, there's another round! Yeah, the visual filter on this, you may not even be able to tell. Um, th there were some actual higher quality filters, but I found that they just made all the characters look like watercolor paintings. And I didn't really want to use that. I might show it to you guys at some point in the playthrough, because it's kind of funny looking. It looks pretty good when you're not in combat, but when you're in combat, all the characters look like watercolor paintings. At least that's what it made me think of. We've got him trapped now! I'll take you down. Oh, this is interesting. We can be attacked from both sides. I like that the combat is semi-real-time, too. Though I also enjoy turn-based combat. Turn-based gives me a chance to stop and think about what I'm going to do. Fire beam! Nice. That was easy enough. Dun, 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 dun. Biggs gained a level. Wedge gained a level. And somebody gained a level. We don't know who. Obtained three potions. 126 gil. Somebody's been gaining levels around here. I don't know who. Nobody knows. Just keep moving. We're almost to the mountain pass. Defend the mines! What have you got with you? Is that more dogs or was that something else? Oh man. They're like woolly mammoths. Take this woolly. I'm not going to hit with an ice beam because he, uh, I have a hunch that he might be strong against that. So it may not make a difference. It seemed to be one hit killing everything. Fire beam! And another fire beam! 
Alright. 65 EXP and a potion. And 276 gil. We are rolling in the dough now. We could probably pay a month's rent with that much gil. According to our source, they unearthed the frozen esper in the new mine shaft they were digging. This must be it. Well then, let's go check it out. Oh boy, oh boy, we're in a dungeon. After a while, if I start running into repeat random encounters, I will be cutting them out of the video just to, you know, kind of make things flow a little better. It's what I've done with any other RPG that I've played. A strange light fills the air. Do you want to learn about save points? Sure, why not? At save points, you can use tents and sleeping bags and also save the game. If your party should happen to be defeated in battle, you'll automatically restart from the last place you saved. Any gill or items you obtained will have to be found again, but your level and experience point total will not change. Oh, that's interesting. Usually you lose your XP as well. You can also save the game anywhere on the overworld map. All right. So I guess I just press start here. Ah, there's my save option. I'm saved. Let's do it again just for safe measure. And we're moving right along. Oh, random encounter. What do we have here? We have a rat and some guy with a wrench. Some fat hunchback man with a wrench. Nice. Fire beam! That worked out pretty well. Biggs gained a level and Wedge gained a level. We're gonna need it. Especially for this next area. I'll handle this. Stand back. <laughs> I think with all these laser beams, you could have just shot it, but no, you just had to headbutt it, didn't you? Whoa. We're not handing over the Esper. Well, thanks for letting me know it's here. Yamir, get them! Is that a battle cry? Yamir! Nope, that is a monster. <laughs> I thought it was a battle cry. Hold it! This thing's a... They must have trained it to guard the mines! My god. What are you talking about? You know what this is? Ever heard of a lightning whelk? No. It's a monster that absorbs lightning. And stores the energy in its shell. What are we gonna do? Right. So whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Got it. All right, whatever we do, we will not attack the shell. So we need to make sure we attack in waves here. Because if we attack all at once and it goes in the shell prior to me attacking, we could be in trouble. So I'm gonna make sure we continuously heal uh, with my unknown character. You're just gonna keep on healing. You guys are just gonna keep on attacking. Oh crap, I think I may have screwed myself. I did indeed. Oh god, she's gonna die, isn't she? Heal her quick! Oh, she didn't die. Okay, good. We need to take our time with this fight. It's actually a pretty tricky fight for the first fight of the game. Because um, if you attack with more than one character on that shell, you are a goner. Just keep smothering him with fire beams. I'll try another one just to make sure that that is my best course of action. There's an ice beam. Not bad. Thunder beam. Oh god, he's gonna go back in the shell again. No! Heal! Get down! Everybody heal up. You can usually take one blast from that, but generally not two. Let's 
It's coming back out. Whenever he makes that sound, you know it's coming up. What has he done to me? I'm glowing. Am I gonna go Super Saiyan? That'd be kind of sweet. Keep everybody healed. Didn't actually need healing. Oh, here we go. Once again. My character does not have a lot of hit points. These other guys do. They're more than I do. Alright, we're pretty much healed up, so let's wait for him to come out of his shell. Come on, man, come out of your shell. Don't be shy. Just want to say hi to ya. Just want to say hi. He'll come out of there one day. Just keep healing till he does. I can play this game. Final Fantasy VI. Come on, buddy. You know you want to pop your head out. Just come say hello to the world. Where are your friends? It's a very anticlimactic fight, but here we go. Hit with a Magitek missile. I think that one does quite a bit of damage. Yep, it does quite a bit of damage. Let's try a thunder. Thunder strike. Oh, he's a goner. That magic missile did the trick. All right. Timing is key for that fight. Let's go on in. Go that way. Oh boy. This is a different one. I thought Mr. Uh, Wedge over there, or Biggs, I don't know which one was an enemy. Got the jump on these guys. He uses a wrench attack, and he's done. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, snap. What is that? Must be what we're looking for. So this is the Frozen Esper? I'm blue. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -die. Oh, God. I don't want to fight you. This thing's giving me the creeps. Something's not right. It's not. I remain silent. The frozen creatures begins emitting an eerie light. We've been stunned. What? Where's that light coming from? Gwarg! What, what was that? Wedge? Wedge, where are you? Hey! Pull up! Pull up! What's going on? <laughs> My god. And thus was the end of our protagonist. Maybe. No, nope, no. Nope. It was all a dream. I'm just gonna stand here and stare creepily. Ow, oh, I'm awake. W where am I? My, my! I just removed the crown. My head hurts. Easy there. This is a slave crown. The others were using it to control you. Those bastards. It was robbing you of your thoughts, making it so you'd do whatever they told you. 
I can't remember a thing. Don't worry, it'll all come back to you. In time, that is. A mysterious young woman, born with the gift of magic and enslaved by the... Gestalian Empire? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Gestalian Empire. Alright, we're just gonna go with the default name of Terra. My name is Terra. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering so fast. You must be made of tougher stuff than most. Open up! We're here for the Magitek armor! We want it back! There was a lease on that! Open this door right now and hand over that girl. She's an agent of the Empire. Empire? Magitek armor? There's no time to explain. You need to get out of here. These fools aren't going to listen to reason. This way, quickly! Make haste! Fly, fly, fly! 